Hi, welcome to this short tutorial. My name is Jacob Fredrickson. I'll be showing you how to create a custom family inside of Revit. This is especially useful if you do not have uh, something, an object that you could find that best represents what you're trying to do inside of Revit. So I'll just be showing you something quick and easy. So I'll just be showing you how to do uh, essentially like a built-in shelf inside like a fireplace but I'm not going to be showing you how to do the fireplace it's just going to be the built-in shelf all right so the first thing I want to do is I want to go to the component and go to model in place so I'm going to click on casework and click OK and click OK so I'm going to be using the extrusion tool and the void extrusion tool so I'm just going to click the extrusion tool I'm going to first set my boundary and I'm going to make it about four foot high. Let's just start that. I can choose my material here. Uh, for now, I'm going to do wood painted white. Oh, seems like I do not have that material. That's okay. Let's just do wood stain and that'll be okay too. And so I'm going to use my rectangle tool. So fireplaces are normally drawn at two foot and the built-ins around them can be anywhere. So we're just gonna have it five foot and that's actually typical of a fireplace. So this works well for me. So I'm just gonna click the okay button, which is the screen check mark. And then I'm just gonna go into my front view. Here we can see, I have it set to the first floor. So here we can see the shape of this box. So what we need to do is to make these shelves then. So what I do to create these shelves is I'll go to create void extrusion and then I'll set my plane to this front plane. Now uh, the back of this uh, built-in can be probably a quarter inch thick. So I'll just make this go three foot dash 11.75 inches and that should take care of any problems for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the pick line tool. I'm going to use my offset tool and offset one and it'll give us four shelves. And then I'm going to change my offset tool to 0.5 and those are going to be my shell thickness and these thicknesses right here. Now this is just a lot of cleanup right here so you just want to use your trim tool and just clean up some of these lines. You want to make sure that you split these elements like so. Here we go, like this. And that's just making it easier so you don't have to draw so many lines. And the split element tool is just SL. Then I'm just using the trim tool to clean it back up. Now what void extrusion does, so instead of uh, being at this place, it's going to just take out one of these boxes. Now we can't create multiple extrusions at once. So I did this just to prepare myself. And so I'll delete three of these boxes and keep the top one. But before I do that, I'm just going to dimension this so that I know how much I'll need to copy each of these. So it's 11 foot and a half. So if I'm copying them one foot downwards, then I'll be able to get all the boxes that I need. So I'll just delete these three. Click OK, the screen check mark. And like I said, I'll just copy one foot, copy one foot, Copy one foot. Okay. And 
then I'm just going to use the cut tool. Right, and I'm just going to finish my model. And as you see, we have our little built-in shelf. And now this tool can be used for a lot of things. Uh, in our project, we'll be making um, that front reception area is all built in. So, and they're not cabinets. So this would be a good utilization of some of those things, just being able to use these commands in order to create those custom families. Right, and that will be all. Thank you so much, guys.